All right, go ahead. All right, 659, call the meeting to order. Uh, Diane, however you want to do a roll call or just look at the pictures, that's up to you. I'll go ahead and call the roll. <clears throat> Dave Dickinson. Here. Dan Colzo. Here. Don Kiefler. Here. Pat Leach. Here. Brian McCarty. Present. Bill Ott. Here. Rob Riley. Here. Okay. Everybody get a copy of the minutes, have a chance to look at it. Yes. Uh, comments, questions? If none, is there a motion to approve? A motion to approve. All right, motion by Don. Is there a second? Second by Brian. Second by Brian. Those in favor approving the minutes, say aye or raise your hand. Aye. 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 Any nays? Okay, approved. Public comments, no public here. No public comments via email. No, okay. but I, I did have somebody ask about the bench on Conley. That was about the what? The bench on Conley that's being put in. Oh. Um, she wanted to know if she could sponsor it or Ooh. buy it. So. Diane, do you remember, do we have a sponsor on that one? Is that the one near the townhomes? We do not uh, have yeah. a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah, we do not have a sponsor for the one in the townhomes. Okay. Because her long story short, she, she emailed Facebook or Facebook Messenger and then uh she just she had a dog that died, so she wants to get the bench. Um, you know, in honor of her dog. So awesome. She'll be very happy. Is it four seventy five or is it four fifty? Three hundred. I three hundred it's four hundred. 400? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's 300 for the bench and then 75, 80 some dollars for the uh, for the plaque. Okay. So I'll tell her roughly around 375 or so. Yeah. Okay. I'll let her know. She'll be happy. Okay. All right. Uh, and that's uh, Conley. All right. Uh, updates. Uh, Melbourne Station, I, I saw playground equipment going in. Yeah, playground okay. equipment's going vertical. They've got a lot of asphalt out there. Um, a lot of concrete has gone in. Um, he, you know, I think he's making great progress. Uh, still needs some dry weather. He can work in the, in the cold. But uh, he said, you know, as long as it's not wet, he can move. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, hit a little bit of a snag. Uh, apparently one of the parts that came with uh, uh, new toys uh, was wrong, incorrect, wrong size. Uh, that was for the tennis courts. Uh, so it's not, uh, shouldn't be a critical path item, but uh, we'll, we will have to uh, get with, uh, oh, what's his name, Rick from new toys and see if we can't get a new one. Uh, at least get the, the proper sized ones. Um, and I have not heard, but it should be showing up soon, the, uh, the parts for the shelter. So they should be going vertical here in the next couple of weeks as well. Holy so cow. They're thick in shape and looking like a real park. All right. Very good. Way to keep on them, John. Yeah. Crack the whip. Out there every day, telling them what to do. That's right, because you are a pro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, any any other comments about Elburn Station? Nope. Okay. John, have we gotten anywhere with a with a name for that park yet? Have we got it narrowed down to something? Well, the the overall park is Elburn Station Community Park. I thought we had decided that a while ago, okay. but we were. Uh, I think there was somebody out there who may want uh, to make a contribution towards the the playground equipment that's correct and uh so i've got no problems uh as far as elburn station community park and you know the so-and-so family the the smith family playground or even uh you know like with the football field if somebody wants to sponsor that or the cross field whatever you want to call it um, you know, we can do stuff. Maybe we can, uh, 
you keep the I'm, I'm just thinking the the park name and signage you keep it simple keep it the elvern station community park or something like that and then these donors or sponsors they can have their own little signs by whatever mm -hmm. they're funding you know the the right. smith playground or something right but keep it off the main signage to keep right. it clean we're at, we're at a, we're still going ahead the pickleball court's going to be on there too isn't there yes all right because they they have some people I can ask to be sponsors for that. So that, it, yeah, thought. that is a multi use court. It's pickleball, it's tennis, it's basketball. Okay. But maybe something where they can have like a little sign or something yeah. up on there. So I'll ask when, when it gets closer. Okay. Yeah we'll, yeah, we'll have to figure out how to kind of make a uniform uh sign whether it be a, a a sign on four by fours or a plaque on the fence or something that's it's kind of like a standard for all these donors you know this this thing this project donated by so and so or sub subsidized some kind of general right so all right we'll keep that in mind but that's good you guys are, are hearing from from people that want to donate that's a good a good sign from the community i love it yeah I'm sure the village loves it too. Sure. Um, okay, moving on to the uh, ice rink. Uh, kudos to uh, Dawn, major kudos, and uh, Brian for helping me put that up. They, they not only helped me, they basically did it. I watched them. And, uh, you laid it they, out. <laughs> they, did a, they did a fine job. And, uh, Looks good from the road. Wait, now we just wait for the weather, for uh, the cold to come in, and then... When we figure that out, we'll put the liner in. We've already, Brian and, and Dawn and I have already uh, discussed how we're going to do that. So we don't have 15 extra feet flapping off on the side. And uh, once that comes in, we'll, we'll put the water in and hope for some cold weather. So uh, we still need signage for that, uh, that rink. You, uh, Rob, do you still have all the uh, ideas for that signage somewhere? Yeah, um, I'll have to go through my email. I, I'm still in contact with the guy who gave me the estimate. It was um, like 300 bucks or something. Um, let me check here. Uh, I still, I, I can look real quick. Hopefully, I can find it here. Uh, One minute here, see if I can find it. Yeah, I think I'll have to ask him for it again. I have it somewhere in my email, but. Yeah, why don't we, uh, uh, Rob, if you dust that off, uh, send it to John. John, is that something that you and uh, Rob can just okay yourselves? We don't need to have a big meeting for it. Yeah. Because we've it's all. It's all right with everybody else, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I see it here. It's this one estimate here was three seventy one, um, and you'd have a sign that said "Stay off the ice" and uh, another sign for "Let's skate." So they're interchangeable, I believe. Yeah. Are there any details on there, like rink rules or anything? Did we talk about? Um, that I can share my yeah. Let me. I can share my screen real quick if you guys want to. Yeah. Let me do that, and then uh, if we even need to, I do may that, have to let you do that. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, you just gotta give me. Go ahead, see if it works now. Yeah. All right. So this was the estimate. Can you see it? Okay. Let me zoom in. Yeah. Better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think this is the one um, where you'd have a single face sign and then you'd have an overlay for stay off the ice and one for let's skate. Um, you know, it had the rules too and all that stuff. It does have some rules? Yeah, it's, it was supposed to have rules as well. Um, or this could have been the simple one, but I think that was... I think probably the main rules that we were might have been looking for is just time. 
you know, yeah. close, at, close at dusk or something that, so we don't get cars driving out on the, on the grass there trying to skate at night. Right. So yeah, that was the one I had. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm okay if uh, John and Rob work this out themselves and, and get it done. How about the, how does everybody else feel? It's fine. Okay. Um, Bill, Bill. No, no, Bill. Oh, I said that's that's fine. That oh, sounds okay. good. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, this is uh. I'll help Rob. High, four feet well. wide, so okay. Should be plenty of room for rules. Yeah, I think really, you know, without getting all crazy, I think the main rule we're looking for is open and close times. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And, and then maybe if we had. Uh, I don't know what type of uh, material this is. Is this a, just like a piece of plywood that we can add rules later? With our yeah, I think later? it's, I'll have, to, I'll have to ask them. I know it's pretty solid sign. It's definitely, okay. um, you know, pretty thick. Okay. Well, yeah. I say you guys just take care of it and what it, what you come up with, you come up with. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can set something out, you know, so. Okay. Do we let people play hockey on that? at certain times or or no in the in the past bill it's been pretty much uh, uh self-regulated we, uh, okay. we haven't had any problems with the uh, kids taking over the ice or, or not sharing so far so good okay yeah. sounds yeah, good the only incident we had was uh, uh when the kids went on the ice last year with um when they drove their cars onto the lawn so yeah. The uh, I was yeah. looking at the uh, hockey nets uh, this not too long ago, and they're pretty beat up. Um, I don't know if it's better to try and uh, the nets need to be replaced, also not only the, not only the uh, tubing but at least the the mesh part. I don't know how easy it's going to be to find replacement mesh. I can look. Uh, if I can't find it, we might be looking at having to buy a couple more nets. Yeah, it's fine. Like a hundred bucks a piece, were they or something? Sure. I don't. I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah, get you know, get some quality, something that's going to last more than a couple of seasons. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was okay until the high schoolers went out there. Uh, yeah, and, you know, I wonder if some of the, some of them bring their own nets too. So. Some do, but, some do, but I think we have to be able to provide at least something. Yeah. So all right, well, I'll look at something, try and look something up here in the next day or so, and send you something, John. Okay. All right. Yeah, just send me a link to something and then I can take care of it. All right, thanks. All right. Um, next on the list is the, the budget, the upcoming budget. I sent everybody. Again. Uh -huh. Sorry to interrupt you. I was, try, I was on mute. I was trying to say something about the ice rink. Go ahead. We, the hose that we fill it up with, can we talk to... You know, they, they have those big reels. I don't know, you get them for like, I think electrical contractors have. You cut yeah. off, Pat. Yeah. Pat, can you hear us? Yeah, I, I, I heard you talking about the electrical spools. Okay. I'm not sure without some type of a trailer to put that spool on an axle. I think that's going to be even more of a pain than than rolling it out by hand. And I speak from you know pulling electrical cable off of those things is uh, is not easy to do without an axle. So uh, unless we can find uh, come up with some type of an axle system for it, we'll see. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. How big a spool? Right How big a spool do you think we need? I don't think too terrible. Probably we a could, typical comet spool, but I mean, because we could probably frame out a, a stand out of two by sixes or something. And, and then what do you do with that stand? I mean, do you put it on wheels? Do you leave it in the shed and just pull it out of the shed, or so uh, we mount it to a truck and then we put a motor on it? <laughs> <laughs> I can I suggest using uh, putting it on a cat instead of a truck. Because sure. you might have to drive over snow hills. Sure, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> we got a place in Elburn that builds cat, builds snow equipment. So, yeah, well, we'll have we'll have rig source. 
yeah. uh, take care Terramac of it. Do it. Yeah, I'm sure they can. could, yeah, Terramac can, uh, can let us uh, loan us a piece of equipment, I think. Yeah, just let us borrow it over the winter time. Yeah. yeah. While we have it, we might as well drill a drill a well out there in the ball field too. Then. <laughs> All right. Hey uh, Pat, so you're still. We can't hear you. Can't sorry. hear you, Pat. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll 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 always keep an eye, uh, um, open mind on that, Pat. And we if we can come up with something, we will. But uh, without that trailer, I don't think it'll work. All right. Uh, anything else before we? start? dive into some potential budget here. All right, I, I sent out uh, last year's proposed budget just to kick around ideas. Um, where do you guys wanna start? What should we, we're, we're focusing, depending on what next year brings, we don't know. We're looking at uh, the community center to be our primary focus. I don't know what our budget's going to look like after Elburn Station, but we just put the request in and see what happens. Um, John, give us an idea on what uh, what we think we should budget for uh, community center. Uh, we were thinking probably in the neighborhood of about 150, 160 thousand. Because if you yeah, remember the. Uh, uh, Elliott Park, that was about, uh, uh, I think about 80 or $85,000 for the equipment. Um, and it's usually a good chunk of that about, uh, I think about 30% they figure for installation. And if we're going to do more than just park equipment, whether we put the, the basketball court out there, something along those lines, um, you know, that obviously will be a little bit more. Um, so, you know, it, I guess it depends on what you want that park to look like, but, yeah. you know, for, uh, you know, if we had parking off street parking, you know, some nose in parking, um, uh, you know, 80, $90,000 in park equipment and another 30,000, let's say for, uh, installation, you know, Call it thirty thousand, which maybe being generous for uh, uh, for off street parking, maybe another twenty for the basketball court. You know, you're you're up there around one hundred and seventy ish. Where? No, I disregard. And when you think, and when you have that number, is that after the grant that we're hoping to get? that would be the total project cost. So if we can get something from Oslad, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, then that cost would be cut in half. And, um, uh, you know, depending on how much they wanted to do, but, um, you know, that would then be dependent upon getting the grant. And so then you're gonna have to have a grant writer, somebody like Hitchcock or somebody else to do that. And that's gonna throw another 12,000 on top of it. Yep. Um, okay, well, we just waste another twelve thousand. But you know, if it's twelve thousand dollars and we can get eighty, ninety thousand dollars out of it, okay, Perfect. I'll take that. All right. Well, we'll put that on the list. Is there any other uh, projects or ideas that we want, need to take care of? I mean, Rob. Well, I would say the bike repair station. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, all right, all right Rob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was going to say it. Hey, more people are riding their bikes. Bike stores have been sold out, you know, so I'm just saying, you know, now's the time. That's a good time to get one if we can afford it. Good job, Rob. <laughs> hey, Rob, Rob, how's, how's it going uh, trying to get the, the uh, county to hook up the uh, bike trail at Wabonzi with the Great Western Trail? Have you made any progress with that yet? Oh, you're, you're talking about I thought it was Fox River Trail that they're trying to hook up. No, I'm I'm talking Wabansi. I want you to I want you to hook up the trail that goes yep. up to Wabansi. Starts at Wabansi, and I want you to go straight north to the Great West. That would be cool. The Gilman Follow Trail. Black, it would be Blackberry Creek. That would be cool. So, so we only do a couple miles. Costs us a couple million a year. Yeah. Well, the guy that was in charge for King County is no longer there, so. Um, you know, John sent out um, a meeting invite, so 
Bill or I maybe can attend or somebody who wants to be there. Um, it's a Zoom meeting for, so for, the night, for the next um, King County you know, trail and whatever. The, the yeah, why don't you get, get on that board or get up, go to those meetings yeah. and at least see how we can hook up Elburn with the Great Western. Yeah, well, I'd like to get a trail from um, Elburn Station to uh, Kesslinger. I know that's not our land, but that would be nice to have that Elburn downtown Station path. Kesslinger. Yeah, where are you talking about? From the Blackberry, train Blackberry Elburn Station. Yeah. yeah, that should be done this year, that connection across Kesslinger. Not across, I'm talking on Kesslinger um, to, go to, to go to 47. From Melbourne Station. Oh, yeah, it's not Elber, It's unincorporated, I think, at that point. Right. So, right. But it helps Elburn because it's a little access point to get to downtown a little bit. So, so they said the guy who was there, he said that they try to look for grant money for that, but you know, never heard from him again. So, so you're talking about going from Blackberry down Kesslinger to 47 into downtown? Yeah. Yeah, um, that's one of the complaints that I've gotten is that there's no easy way to get there. They have to go through the industrial park and, you know, just to get down to, or right on Kesslinger. Don't they know how to ride through the train station? Well, I mean, that's... Take that pedestrian path on the, on the train station. There is no pedestrian path. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There is, there is there in Kansas, but you still have to ride through the train station. You still have to ride through. You go there. around the edge of the train station. You go up the top of the hill. You go past the gate, and poof, you're downtown. When the park oh. is when the when the park is completed, we'll have a path that hooks up to that. All right. Well, oh. partially, that, that's going to be one of the other things that I was talking about is because um, the path that goes off to the east is going to dead end the grass. Because we've got no right. way right now to connect up with the um, path that goes around the pond. And um, so we've got to figure out a way to connect that to the pond path, uh, preferably to the uh, bike path on Anderson. All right. That would be yeah. ideal. Um, would Shodine do that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I guess is that, is that a no? <laughs> so hey, they close their first strings. It's worth yeah, they, I'll I'll ask them. Sure. Um, no, Bill. Actually, I, I'd encourage you to do that. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm about, serious. About, fi about fifty feet is is the what we need from um, what's. It, it would be more than that because it's got to be ADA accessible. So you're going to have to watch your slopes. You can't just go right up the hill. Uh, I, I got you. Okay. So, it, yeah, it's going to go further east. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Hey, it won't sure. hurt anything. Um, we did, in talks with uh, KDOT about this park, um, you know, one of the things uh, that I had to promise and sell my soul for was uh, to get that access off of Kesslinger is that we would put this bike path in. And um, so far they haven't asked anything about it. And it's a good thing because I don't have the money to do it. But, you know, if there's a way that we could either partner with, uh, with Shodine to do that, yeah, that'd, that'd be fine. Okay. Or better yet, just have Shodine pay for it. Yes, well, that'd be the first way to go. Yes. Well, they're they're supposed to participate in that bike share program, so um, mm -hmm. they were supposed to be they were uh, so you know it's for their benefit. Yeah. Then you could hook up Elburn Station to Mill Creek, put a nice little trail there, going that way. So. Via Johnson's Mound. Yeah. Well, I know the county, uh, or at least the Forest Preserve District, is is trying to figure out a way to do that. They've got one landowner in the way. Uh, eminent domain john wield that pen <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's cheap and quick yeah uh do we recall are there bike racks planned for uh elburn station park i don't remember i don't remember either i don't think so we should probably put a couple bike racks in the budget yep yeah. Um, that'd be another good like show Dean something too you know to get their name out there 
Porta Johns, are we looking at putting those in the in the parks or just maybe uh, Prairie Park? Uh, there is supposed to be one out at Elvern Station. Okay. And then Prairie Park needed one. Um, right. The library doesn't let anyone use their facilities anymore, so that was. Who's that? Uh, Prairie Park. So. No, who doesn't? Uh... Oh, the library. Oh. So that was a it was a Facebook message a year ago or so about. No, not not having any bathrooms there. They used to have a bathroom there, a while a while back. So yeah, when they had baseball teams there, we would get one out there. We'd have waste management put it out there. So oh, okay. I will. Uh, I'll talk with Lakeshore about putting one out there. The other thing that we had talked about was putting a uh, a wooden structure around it, so it wasn't just the big plastic box. Right. So it can't be tipped over. Park improvements here. This. They said they put stakes there to help prevent it being tipped over, but I don't know. Yeah, well. That's events. The boxes. Not, not so much. Do we want to? Do we want to try and uh, get exercise trail equipment in somewhere? We were talking around Prairie Park that that walkway. Is it still something you guys want to pursue? Could be. I, I went on to um, Outdoor Fitness website and most of the stations cost, at least on their site, between 500 and 1500 bucks. So right. if you, if we have 10,000, well, you know, we could do the math. Is, are we locked into Prairie Park as the locations or? Well, we could um, put a couple. Well, we were just trying to figure a little more activity on the north side of town. Ah, okay. There's a trail there. I mean, we could put conceivably, you could put one or two stations at Prairie Park, and you could put one or two stations somewhere along the bike path on Anderson Road, all on the north side of town. There's nothing mm -hmm. that says it all has to be together in the same field. Okay. So that's something to consider. You know, so we'll put that in. We'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, so I'm looking at, uh, you know, that community center, some bike repair station, electrical service at Prairie Park for the uh, band shell that uh, Pat's building. Uh, some park events, uh, exercise trail equipment, uh, Couple of bike racks and porta johns. That's pretty much going to make up plenty of next year's budget or something for us to work on. Yeah. No, I think those, we did two movies in the park. And I, and even the second one, though, was a little, little on the chilly side of life, a little breezy. Um, we still had 40 participants show up. Did you on that second time, that second movie? Yeah. It was an, and we scheduled it up. too. So some people, could make it some people couldn't then so it was pretty good then i'm surprised you got that many yeah we um, think rob 30 30 40 i think yeah, it was right. something like that not as much as the first one but you know the screen blew down but it was fixed it yeah but yeah for the most part i think it was pretty successful and people were pretty happy with it yeah they all everybody everybody i talked to seemed really impressed with the idea and, and they wanted to see more of them next year so hey um, pat when pat when you build that band shell Put a back wall on it, flat, suitable for video screen, so he doesn't have to put his uh, blow up thing up. So two birds with one stone. Not a bad idea. Uh, any other ideas for the wish list? Um, it's not really a budget item, but um, so like to consider the dog park, park. but. You know, I'm hoping that we can get a grant because the grant's in play again next year. But we just got to find a location. So I think that's the I think that's the main obstacle is a location. Yeah, yeah. So just something to think about. I don't think it's anything we'd have to lease or rent, but oh, you know, yeah, we have something that we can put it at. So. Yeah, that area south of uh, Public Works is off the table. Yeah, I I figured. It, yeah, I'd rather have a place where we don't have to dig it up in five years anyway. So. Yeah. We, uh, John, is there uh, much of a dirt hill over by the Blackberry Creek, that water well? We, we talked about 
kind of forming that for a little sled hill? Is that? Uh... Um, there is still dirt there. Um, I don't know. Diane, do you know, are they still taking dirt out of there? Are they still using that? We're selling dirt from there now. It's it's no longer free. Right. I know, but are they still taking it out this season? Yes. Okay. Um, and so I guess, Dan, to answer your question, it, I think it could be done, but, you know, that, that hill is going to get smaller as time goes on. But, you know, perhaps, you know, on at least a couple of the sides, I think uh, you could have some... Uh, Decent slopes, you know, you go off that south side and you're going almost straight down. That would be, uh, you know, some people might consider that fun, but I think on the water. east and west sides, you know, it might be uh, something that could be sloped. Okay, well, if we can just keep it in the, in the back of our mind that maybe when we're done selling dirt for the season, if Phil can safely grade something out out there. Okay. Some sleds. Okay. Um, uh, that's that's all I got for right now. Uh, other business. Oh, you know the the other thing I don't know if you've been out there by that uh, that dirt mound recently. No. Um, but a uh, we're we're putting in a parking lot out there as well. And Diane, was that going to be paved this year? Still. Were they going to pave it or just gravel for now? Yeah, good point. I, uh, I think it was, you're right. I think it was just going to be gravel. So uh, it may not be plowed, but, you know, if it does turn out that it could be a, a sled hill, uh, they've got a spot to park. Because once, uh, once Anderson opens up here in a couple of weeks, uh, hopefully it opens up in a couple of weeks, the, the lighting contractor, his shop has taken a hit with COVID and they are down to a very small skeleton crew taking care of uh, emergency stuff and they're not doing uh, too many installations. So we may not see permanent streetlights there this winter yet. But uh, if that's the case, one way or another, I believe that road's gonna open up uh, probably by the end of the month, mid-December. Um, and we're not gonna have parking on Anderson up in that area. So we will have to have off-street parking. That parking lot would be a good spot for everybody to go to. Okay. So then we'll have to have Phil not necessarily keep a plowed lot, but at least plow some access to that yep. lot. So that'd be good if we can do that. Is there right. a light fence being for Anderson? Are they going to have a pedestrian area, like a walk sign there? I didn't hear you, Rob. Is the area of Anderson Road what they're opening the the new lights? Are they going to have a walk sign? For yes. That? Yeah, okay. that, it's going to be fully signalized for pedestrians, all four awesome. corners. Okay, great, great. No, I just because I, I probably get the question. So, great. Any other business? Oh. Nothing. Is there a motion to adjourn? I make motion. Motion by Dave, second by Pat. We're adjourned. All right. Adios. Thanks. Thank wow. you. Record time. Good job. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you all. Bye. <laughs>